Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today you're going to learn how to set a video as a background for your web page. Here we have our finished product. As you can see, we have a video in the background with some plants moving in the wind, as well as some heading and paragraph. And those two are just to show you where the content goes. And now that you've seen this finished product, let's get into coding it. So we will start with a blank HTML document as well as a video file. Here we have a mp4 video file which is called video. Uh, so first of all let's start with our body. So let's place a div, give it a class and this class will be equal to background wrap which will serve as a wrapping element for our video element next one is video element we'll set its id equal to video bg lm which stands for video background element we also need to set some other attributes first of our first one is preload which is equal to auto which basically means when the web page loads also video is being loaded autoplay equal whoops equal to true and this means when the web page is finished loading the video will automa automatically start playing loop equal to loop so when the video is finished playing it will start over and muted whoops, muted equals to muted so all the sounds in the video are being muted now we will have to tell the browser the source of this of this video so source it's src which is short for source now we have to set uh, tell tell the file uh, set the file of the video so in my case it's video.mp4 and it's type equal to video slash mp4 and if, if the browser does not support html5 video so it will get a you will get a message video not supported and that's it uh, about our video now let's place some content set a div give it a class we'll give it give it a class of content and inside this element we will have the heading that you saw it will be we'll say video background tutorial yep and paragraph we will say this tutorial or tutorial shows you how to put a video as a background for your website so that's it about our HTML let's let's view it refresh and here we have our video and then our content but as you can see we need to set some 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 styling to this so it looks it looks decent so I will uh, set some basic reset set its margins as well as padding to zero uh, next one we will target body we'll change font family to Calib Calibri 
and serif those are just uh, for the styling purposes next one is we will target our background wrap element uh, first of all I want this uh, background to stay fixed when the user scrolls the web page so first one I will set it's this background wrap elements position to fixed give it a Z index to minus 1000 so it's uh, behind all of the content it's with whoops not window but width and height will be 100 percent overflow will set to hidden so all the content that overflows it will be hidden and top as well as left will be set to zero positions save it we can view it so far so good as you can see now we don't have these scroll bars so let's continue and now we will target our video element we set its ID equal to video BGLM uh, first of all we also need to set this video elements position to absolute and it will be position absolute to this fixed element nearest uh, position uh, parent so it's a uh, background wrap element so also it's top and left position to zero and minimum height uh, to 100 percent and minimum width uh, of 100% so it always takes up at least 100% of the width and height uh, save it let's view it refresh now everything's looking good here we have uh, our, our video in the background as you can see we have no scroll bars here but we need to deal with with the styling of these two so let's continue uh, let's target our content element uh, its position will also be absolute whoops not window with windows with will be also 100 percent and minimum height also to 100% and Z index to 1000 so it's all the content is uh, so the video is behind uh, this this content and we will set its uh, background color to R RGBA it will be black color and its opacity will be 0 0.7 and we can view it yeah refresh here we have uh, as you can see our, our our background color has taken effect uh, and now we need to target whoops content h1 first of all let's give it some 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 styles text align to center font font size 65 pixels text transform uppercase all the letters are uppercase let's reduce the font weight to 300 give it a white color whoops white color FFF padding 
it up to 15%, 15% of its parents width and margin bottom to 10 pixels so the so the paragraph is is pushed a bit down so next one we need to set some styles for the paragraph content paragraph text line to center you could also set its uh, contents text line to center so you don't have to set this property to each of this but in this example I'll do this this way so also let's increase font size 20 pixels increase letter spacing to three pixels and give it a color of AAA so that should do it for this and yeah as you can see this is this is the finished product as, as, I, as I show you uh, in the start of this video as you can see as you as you change the width of this web page the you don't, you don't see any school bars it's it stays it stays the same the width and height if you change it also I have tested this on 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 many browsers in the latest versions of Chrome and Mozilla and Internet Explorer and it worked just fine so yes wasn't that hard to do just uh, we need we need to write some HTML and CSS, no JavaScript. So yeah, hope this uh, works also for you and it's helpful for you. So thank you for watching and bye. See you next time.